What's happening everybody? Hello and welcome back to Toto Blast where we discuss about everything Marvel and the MC. Epic and nostalgic. Two words that best describe the new Black Panther Wakanda Forever trailer. Recently, we reported that Black Panther Wakanda Forever movie tickets will be on sale and it will be accompanied by a new trailer. And here we are. An extended Wakanda Forever trailer footage just got released and it's nothing short of perfection. It was exactly as we predicted and more. In this extended trailer, we got a closer look at Tenochtitlan Nemo's character. We also see Riri Williams done in an iron hot suit and most importantly, we got a new look at the new Black Panther who is most likely a woman. In this video, we'll be breaking down this new footage and explaining important scenes. We are still giving our brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel. More on how to win at the end of this video. And if this is your first time, please, Subscribe and enable the post notification so you don't miss out on subsequent videos. We got our first Black Panther Wakanda Forever teaser trailer at San Diego Comic Con on Marvel's panel. The emotional teaser featured glimpses of Wakanda without its king, King T'Challa, who is played by late Chadwick Bosman, with a mural of his likeness shown looking out over the streets of the country. This new extended trailer started with the original trailer scene that was released earlier where Queen Ramonda and Shuri were walking into a ceremony that looks like a funeral with Shuri carrying the Black Panther mask. With this new footage, this scene actually now looks more like Shuri's coronation ceremony. We see here that her face was covered in white cloth while she was carrying the Black Panther mask. In the first Black Panther movie, T'Challa holds her at a coronation ceremony before he was crowned the Black Panther. Then after this, we immediately got our very first look at Nemo, the submariner, who appears to be painting. It is actually intriguing that Nemo's first representation is a painter and not that of a warrior or a villain. Previously, we stated that Nemo is an anti-hero and not a typical villain. He would do anything to protect his people. While the scene was showing, we hear Nemo's voice in the background say, only the most broken people can be great leaders. Are they referring to Queen Ramonda, who has lost her only child and her country is under attack? Or is he referring to himself because he's hurting from a certain incident that broke him, which is obviously the death of his parents? In the next scene, we finally got to see Nemo as an Atlantean king and warrior. We see him descending onto his throne to take his seat, trusted his spear to the ground and he pierced through it. At the same time, Okoye is seen holding a spear on the ground with tears in her eyes. The scene shows some people who are in a large cargo ship and it looks like they came to mine or steal something. We saw in this scene, like the first trailer, and we alert that it's probably the main villains that came to take Vibranium. These people are in a large ship and it looks like they are under some sort of attack as we see warriors climbing onto the ship from the underwater. These warriors are like the Atlanteans because we also see they had some breathing mask on. They were even shown attacking a chopper. And see Umbaku telling the Wakandans, and I quote, These people don't call him king or general. They call him Kukun Khan, the further serpent god. And that, killing him, would risk an eternal war. Here, Umbaku was trying to explain to the Wakandans how powerful Nemo is. He said, the Atlanteans call him the feather serpent god. This is because of Nemo's physical features. He has feathers on his feet. He is half Atlantean, half mutant. So, this feature made them consider him a god. Umbaku also said that fighting him, Nemo, would risk an eternal war. This eternal war would definitely be between the Atlanteans and the Wakandans because it won't end with this present generation. He's trying to explain that a war of that kind would linger for a long time and would turn both kingdoms to permanent wars. While Mbaku was explaining this to the Wakandans, we got to see Nemo again. This time, he was seen flying and holding a spear. So basically, Nemo has tiny feathers on his feet that aids his flying. The feather is attached to both feet and it rotates like a fan while in the air. Also got to see some soldiers who invaded Wakanda and they tried to harm some people. In this scene is Michaela Cole, who is trying to hide from the soldiers but later engaged them in the fight. In Black Panther Wakanda Forever, Michaela Cole is a Doromolaja warrior. Yeah, we hear Shuri say, he is coming to the surface world. In this scene, Queen Ramonda and Shuri are standing behind a glass window and if you take a closer look at the window, you would see a reflection of someone trying to break the glass with a spear and this can only be Nemo. When Shuri said he's coming to the surface world, her voice is shaking and stricken with fear. Immediately, there are multiple scenes showing the Dora Malaja warriors fighting some people. In this scene, we also see some warriors coming from under the water. These warriors are probably the Atlantan warriors. Shuri said, He's coming to the surface world. 
Could this be that Nemo is not just going to fight the Wakandans, but every human on land as well? If you take a closer look at this trailer, you will see that this comprises of three different kingdoms. The Wakandans, the Atlanteans, and the invaders who are from the other nations. These invaders seemingly came to steal Vibranium. So, when Shuri said that he's coming to the surface world, it could be that Nemo won't just be fighting the Wakandans, but the invaders who came to steal Vibranium. Remember, we mentioned that Nemo is an anti-hero who would do anything to protect his people. He could fight both Wakandans and other nations. In another scene, we see Nemo meet with Queen Ramonda. Here, Queen Ramonda is close to the ocean and Nemo is standing close to her, but he seemed not to be in the violent nature towards her. Let's see what looks like a fight in the city that isn't Wakanda. Looks like the scene for Black Panther 1 where T'Challa was chasing Ulysses' claw. And if you look closely, you will see Riri Williams' Ironheart suit in action. We then cut to the scene where we see Queen Ramonda in the UN meeting where she said, I know what you whisper. They have lost their protector. Now is our time to strike. While she's saying this, we see the footage of a war scene. Wakanda seemed to be flooded, even the throne room. Then cuts to where we see them were flying ahead of some Wakanda war jets. It is basically a fight scene that doesn't look like it is in the favor of Wakanda. The scene then cuts to where we see Riri Williams trying to assemble an iron heart suit before taking a flight in a suit into the skies. Riri Williams will be played by Dominic Tron, who will make her MCU debut in Wakanda Forever before getting a solo Ironheart series. In the next scene, we also see Nakia donning her suit. This looks exactly like what we saw in the previous trailer. A lot has basically happened all at once in this scene, but it basically looks like a war scene showing the different kingdoms. Then we see Riri Williams in a suit fly into the sky and scream, Let's go! That particular scene gives so much adrenaline. We then see an unrecognized character that looks like Nemo jump out of the water in rage waiting for battle. We also see M'Baku who is set and ready for battle, bases his chest and jumps into the water. In the background, we hear Queen Ramonda say, show them who we are. Then we quickly got a glimpse of what looks like the queen in the ocean. This could actually be the Atlantean queen as she's seen wearing a similar crown to that of Nemo. Finally, to the scene that we've all been waiting for. In this scene, we see the new Black Panther drop from a hatch onto a snowy ground. If you look closely, you will see that the new Black Panther appears to be a woman in a brand new suit. All indication point that this new Black Panther could be Shuri. Also, you may want to argue that it could be Nakia or any other person. But my bet is on Shuri. While all of these war scenes are being shown, we didn't really see Shuri anymore. We saw Nakia wear a suit, but no sight of Shuri, and then mysteriously, a new female Black Panther emerges. Bear in mind that it was Shuri that made T'Challa the Black Panther suit, and she's an expert in using vibranium technology. So, who else would don such a dope suit other than the suit maker herself, who appears to be no other than Shuri? So, my best bet that the new Black Panther is Shuri. This is pretty much all that is contained in this extended Black Panther Wakanda Forever trailer. This has to be one of the best trailers yet. It literally sends shock waves down my spine. It is also intriguing to watch. I honestly can't wait to see the movie. It was honestly worth the wait. Also, Black Panther Wakanda Forever will be without the star for the very first time Chadwick Bosman, who died tragically in 2020. But according to Kevin Feige, this sequel will pay respect to the late actor. It is also important to note that the trailer was released to announce the movie ticket sales. The movie, which will be in theaters on 11th of November 2022, has started its ticket sales. So, go quickly get your tickets. And as we said earlier in the video, that one lucky subscriber won a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel once we hit 1,000 subscribers. And all you have to do to win is watch our videos, subscribe, turn on the post notification, like, and comment. One lucky subscriber will be chosen from the comment section once we hit 1,000 subscribers. Also, we want you to use this opportunity to say thank you to everyone who has supported us this far. We sincerely appreciate it. What are your thoughts on this video? And who do you think is the new mysterious Black Panther? Please, don't forget to like this video and share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Subscribe and turn on the post notification so you don't miss out on any of our latest Marvel news. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one.